Why are you so focused and so determined to bring this out there to the world? Look, there are very few people who have a chance to make uh, this much difference mm -hmm. in, in the world mm -hmm. with your gifts. And when I look at our life experience, the experience of Brian, Simply the fact that the two of us are married, you know, both at Cornell, uh, me with a physics background, Sue with a neurophysiology background, uh, the death of the daughter. You put all of that together and say there, there was a, uh, there's a story here uh, that had a, a certain inevitability about it, mm -hmm. you know, that, uh, that we, uh, we were drawn to wrestle with the neurological deficits of children. And then the story grew out of that Consider the larger picture here. We're rather pessimistic on the principal issues that face us in, in health care and medical care and so forth. We're pessimistic about this criminality. We're pessimistic on the problem of addictions. We're pessimistic on the behavioral adjustments that we know are needed to get people to live healthy lives. Smoking, you know. We just don't expect to read in tomorrow's paper that we have a radical solution for the problem of addictions or criminality and so forth, you know, no expectation along those lines. And yet, you know, with this technique, we have an opportunity opening up that affects all those domains, uh, criminal justice, addiction, school failure, the problems, the mental problems of the elderly, right? And frankly, getting back to our original point of discussion, so much wrap, wraps around, for us, in our understanding, uh, the, the trauma model. You look at the data of long-term outcomes, health outcomes, of, uh, of people. You know, the Scandinavian countries track that in, in great detail. If you can trace in the child's background an adverse childhood event, you significantly influence the likelihood that they're going to have a disability paycheck, a disability check from the Swedish government in their maturity, right? Every, you count those events, uh, some of them you don't know about, but mm. basically the, every one makes a difference, mm. right? And so these early childhood events have incredible uh, consequences. They vector the child's uh, life, uh, life success and ultimately their physical, their physical health. So we have an opportunity by intervening early, which this technique can do, I mean, mm -hmm. we can work with babies, mm -hmm. of just altering the trajectory of, of children's lives. We can pick up, uh, you know, a soldier with PTSD later in life and we can still help significantly. Yeah. But how much easier if we help the, ch the child that is now uh, driving the parents crazy because they cannot sleep and they can't tell us what's wrong. All they can do is scream, you know. Uh, we do neurofeedback right then and there. We don't know what's amiss. Was mm -hmm. it birth injury? Was it, uh, you know, what is the burden they're bearing? But we can help with the neurofeedback right then and there. Beautiful. So I come and I have 20 sessions because, uh, as I've shared, my, my journey is one through post traumatic stress recovery. Hence, this organization has been born, our organization. Um, I have 20 sessions. How safe is it for me to come and have 20 sessions? Are there any contraindications? No contraindications, no. You, you, you're going you're gonna to figure this out. In 20 sessions, you're going to figure this out for yourself. And by that time, if you want to continue, you continue on your own. You take, this thing, take the thing home and mm -hmm. communicate with, the, with us via the web or mm -hmm. telephone or whatever and get some continuing guidance because within 20 sessions, the clinician will have gotten to know you and you will have gotten to know how you react and, and that sets you on your path. So a person needs to own this. We need to get to the point where people own this. They say, okay, I understand myself well enough that I know 
when I need more neurofeedback. Mm -hmm. Because we're dealing with vulnerable brains. It's mm -hmm. not like they're going to be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. And like life is continually traumatic. And life, and life happens. <laughs> life happens. Yeah. yeah. Everyone and in our office does it, you know. Do they? It, it helps with everything, with sleep disorders and headaches and anxiety. And it just helps everybody feel like they're on a more even keel. Yeah, but also it just helps on the positive side, you function better, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's not just a question of, of uh, suppressing the pain or the whatever. You're not just chasing symptoms. You say, I, I just, I just... I'm more focused. Function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the next revolution is the one where we actually realize to what extent we have the power to help ourselves.